Hey, this is Alex from ninjateacher.com and I just got caught in the rain a little bit out here in Ho Chi Minh City so I thought I'd pull in to a little cafe here and take this time to answer a question that I get quite a lot and that might be interesting to you as well and that is which do you prefer when it comes to living in Hanoi versus Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam and what are the differences and what is it like teaching English in these different cities and which do you recommend? So I'm basically just going to dive into my experiences and my thoughts on the matter. Just cover a few of the things. Obviously, there's just so many differences between the cities. But of course, um, this is also just my personal experience and what I know about the teaching English industry from working in it. So I'll start off by saying that I lived in both cities. I was up in Hanoi for about eight months before moving down to Ho Chi Minh City and I've been here for quite a while now. So I really thought both were amazing cities to live in and I'm gonna go into some of the reasons why I liked each one of them and then you can kind of make up your own mind about which one you might like to live in. So both cities are big they are around 10 million population each and Hanoi is the capital. And while Hanoi is the capital, Ho Chi Minh City definitely feels like the financial hub of the country, uh, a lot more developed in that way. Now when people ask me this, and I just want to give a quick answer, I usually say something along the lines of Hanoi is the cultural center and hub of the country, whereas Ho Chi Minh City is more of the kind of developing, um, exciting modern city. So what do I mean by that? Well, when I was up in Hanoi, for example, I went to the 70th Independence Day Parade that was really interesting. You know, you got to see that whole um, procession going, the celebration of 70 years of independence. And that was something that only happened in Hanoi. It didn't happen to the same degree, at least down in Ho Chi Minh City. So there'll be more events like that. There's Ho Chi Minh's mausoleum up in Hanoi. Um, it's just got a feel of it being more kind of deep rooted in culture. Uh, it's kind of hard to describe. And then Ho Chi Minh City on that hand has much more of a feel of this kind of exciting city life, the big city life. There's rooftop bars, there's a lot going on in the startup scene, lots of businesses growing. If you like that kind of exciting, vibrant city life, then Ho Chi Minh City's definitely got more of that in my opinion. Now Hanoi on the other hand is quite interesting because a lot of the expats stay in one area called Te Ho and this is right by the lake so it's very beautiful, quite green and a lot calmer really. So it's funny because they're similar in population size but especially if you live in this area it really feels like you're in more of a little town. You kind of get to know the other people around there. There's a much smaller tight-knit community of teachers in that area. Um, it's really nice. It's almost got a university campus feel um, and then there's different areas you can go out to from Teho but in Teho there's little bars and cafes and restaurants and you can kind of live in that area and really enjoy your time there right by the lake and the lake's beautiful you can ride your motorbike around the lake uh, it's really really nice and quite peaceful really living in that area and you don't feel like you're in this huge city which you are but uh, it kind of has a much more relaxed feel to it out there. In terms of nightlife, well, in Ho Chi Minh City, you have a lot of these rooftop bars and fancy clubs, places you can dress up, go out, and they're really fun if you're into that. Um, there's also Buivian Street, which is right where I am now, just around the corner from that. And that's kind of like this backpacker area. I've got a bunch of different videos on my channel about it. It's known as the backpacker street, but lots of Vietnamese people also hang out there, especially on the weekends. The equivalent in Hanoi is the Old Quarter. So there's this area called Huan Kiem, which is the Old Quarter. And in that area, there are all the hostels that backpackers and tourists stay in. There's all the touristy style bars and clubs. But there's also um, a lot of interesting stuff going on. There's a smaller lake right in the center there, which is really nice to walk around at night. There's tons of restaurants and cafes and uh, bars and that kind of thing and if I had to compare Bouyvian versus the old quarter as like a nightlife destination um, I kind of preferred the old quarter because it just felt more authentic but then I think if you want the more quality nightlife 
of bars that stay open late uh, and clubs that stay open late and that are more fancy, then Ho Chi Minh City's definitely got that. Hanoi, a lot of the bars and stuff actually close at midnight. I think the nightlife is pretty great in both cities, so you can have a great time whichever one you're in, just slightly different along those lines. As for food, well, Vietnamese food is great. I love local Vietnamese food in Vietnam, it's just so good. And Vietnam just has such a wide range of foods throughout the entire country that you're gonna get different foods in different places. And the food in southern Vietnam is different to the food in northern Vietnam. Some of it, some of it is the same. You can get pho in both cities, um, but it's gonna be slightly different. And you get some dishes that you can pretty much only find in the north, and some you can only find in the south. So uh, that's kind of something that's just nice to explore. I think when you're traveling around a bit, you'll get to see the differences. I don't think either one's better, in my opinion. I like them both. And you can get Western food in both Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City. I would say in Ho Chi Minh City it's almost easier to get around um, because if you live just in any of the districts surrounding District 1, you can always get to everything else you know, within a, a reasonable amount of time. So say you live in District 3 like I do, you can get here to District 1 in like 10-15 minutes max and then you've got to like almost anywhere you wanted to go in District 1. And there's a lot of this stuff kind of centralized in District 1 or around the districts around District 1. So even if you're in a, a district further out, uh, you can still kind of make it in. I found in Hanoi, everything seems to be just further away. So if you're in Te Ho, just to get to the old quarter, it's about like 15, 20 minutes. And I didn't feel like I had as many options of things to do. Now another big one I know for people is travel opportunities. Now it's really interesting the differences between Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City. The first one being, well in Hanoi you've got access to the north of Vietnam which is beautiful. I've done some amazing trips in the north of Vietnam out to Ba Vi National Park where we summited this mountain on our motorbikes and then climbed up this pagoda with this amazing view. Uh, there's Sapa right to the north on the Chinese border where you can see the indigenous Hmong people I'm not sure if I'm saying that right and you know see the rice paddies and all of that then you can go east to Halong Bay and a lot of people do the northern loop on their motorbikes which apparently is beautiful I've ridden my motorbike around Sapa before and that was some of the best driving I've ever had in Vietnam absolutely breathtaking Ho Chi Minh City on the other hand, there isn't that much that's accessible within like a day's drive. Uh, you can go out to Trian Lake maybe, or you can get to um, the beach within two hours, two, three hours maybe, um, if you take a ferry down there, or take a motorbike or a bus, uh, you can get to Vung Tao, which is a kind of beachside town where it's kind of better to do a weekend trip because you can't really do that trip in one day and really enjoy it. But the other thing from Ho Chi Minh City is you can fly to Phu Quoc Island for like $30. It's, flights are really cheap and you can spend a weekend in Phu Quoc Island. Um, so there's a lot of beach options. You've also got the Mekong Delta from Ho Chi Minh City. So there's definitely a lot of different options in both. I would say more beach options to the south in Ho Chi Minh City and then more kind of northern mountainous uh, activities and destinations from Hanoi. And of course both you can fly to the center of Vietnam quite easily or even take a bus or train up there and then spend time in central Vietnam where I went out to Da Nang and Hoi An for example and had an amazing time out there. So really beautiful out there. So let's talk a little bit about the actual teaching and the differences between Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City. Now, I don't want to be too specific because everything varies from job to job, but I'll focus on a few things that I did notice uh, that were different between the two. So the first thing in terms of pay in Hanoi versus Ho Chi Minh City, well I've typically found the hourly rate in Hanoi is slightly higher than in Ho Chi Minh City. But now before you make any conclusions about that being a better option, um, one thing I have found is that Typically, schools will offer less hours in Hanoi. So what I mean by that is that, yes, a school may say, look, we'll pay you $20 per hour versus maybe 18 in Ho Chi Minh City, but they'll only offer you, say, five hours per week. 
and then you're like okay that's not really enough right so in that case you're one more hours and then you'll typically have to work at a few different schools now a lot of people like that idea because it sounds flexible and you can kind of just work when you want it can be a bit of a pain though to have to juggle different classes and a lot of the time the school will be like okay can you teach this hour and you're like no but i can teach this hour and then you have to go back and forth i've typically found while in ho chi minh city the rate might be slightly lower there will be more hours offered from one school so maybe a school will say look we'll offer you 15 hours per week and that's you know a good salary or 20 hours per week and then they'll actually be able to del deliver on that many hours and Hanoi does definitely have that reputation for being better for part-time teaching and then Ho Chi Minh City for full-time jobs. Now I see a lot of people getting caught up in this part-time versus full-time distinction. In general, I would just say don't worry too much about that distinction. Actually put it aside and start to think about how many hours is the school offering you per week or per month and what pay per hour. And then kind of work out, is that gonna suit you? Is that gonna be enough hours to make the salary that you want to make? Is it enough hours that you're working enough but not too much? Um, and start thinking in that way. In terms of job prospects in both Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City, I think they're really good in both. Uh, it's hard to say exactly which one has more or less opportunities. I think right now, as of filming this, the market in Vietnam is still very good for English teachers. There are a lot of teaching jobs available and I think it will continue to be so for a while and Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City are the cities to go to for the most opportunities. I will say that there are more and more opportunities coming up in smaller cities throughout the country. Um, really right now we're just hearing about all these jobs throughout the country which is really interesting. So if you want to get out of the bigger cities, uh, those are also opportunities. Although some places like Da Nang for example can be very competitive to find jobs because the teaching scene is very small there, there aren't as many jobs and kind of people want to go to the, the coastal cities and find jobs as well. So I would recommend if you're just starting out to stick to Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City or find a job in one of the smaller cities. And that's why right now on ninjateacher.com we're offering a TEFL course in both Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi, which is really exciting because the Hanoi ones just got up and going recently and after that we guarantee that you'll get a job you know, because you've got the quality training of a month long in-class program and then after that you're qualified and ready to step into a classroom and when you do interviews and demo classes with schools they can see that you're a competent teacher and they're willing to offer you a job so that's why I know in Ho Chi Minh City you know we'll keep recommending them uh, as good destinations so what about the people in Hanoi versus Ho Chi Minh City well, when I was in Hanoi, I typically found it a little bit harder to meet and make friends with Vietnamese people. And in Ho Chi Minh City, I found the people a little bit more open and welcoming and more likely to be open to making friends with me. Now, that was my experience, but in general, I do hear the same thing. People find Ho Chi Minh City to be a little bit more open, especially to foreigners, whereas Hanoi is a little bit more conservative, but in general I find Vietnamese people to be very friendly and welcoming, so either way I think you will be able to meet lots of local people and enjoy their company. Then in terms of expats and foreigners, English teachers living in Vietnam, they are slightly different communities in my experience. I found Hanoi to be more of a tight-knit community, people kind of knew each other more, there's one big group like you'd hang out at different places and see the same people. Uh, I really like that. There's a feeling of community up there. Ho Chi Minh City on the other hand, I feel like maybe it's the geography, it's more spread out, but people tend to meet up and hang out with their friends, people they know that are in their social circle. Maybe they will have activities that they like to do together and that will be what they base their time around and hang out in different areas based on that. Um, maybe a little bit harder to meet people and make friends in Ho Chi Minh City but I also feel like I meet more people both foreigners and locals in Ho Chi Minh City whereas Hanoi I ended up spending more time with the same people there and in those uh, kind of smaller groups and smaller community out there. Alright so there you have it I touched on a few different things about Hanoi versus Ho Chi Minh City for teaching. Obviously I couldn't cover everything. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and other people can hop in and answer them. I'll jump in and answer where I can. And if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, give it a thumbs up. 
make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I'm putting out videos about teaching English in Asia and life out here regularly. So I'll speak to you in the next one.